Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Claire. Welcome to Robles Learning Tutorial. If you're interested to create an e-portfolio for free, this session is for you. Today, the objective for this session is to create an e-portfolio using Google Sites. In this manner, you can easily develop your own website to showcase your teaching portfolio if you are a teacher or your learning portfolio if you are a student. Just follow the steps in this tutorial to set up your e-portfolio. First, go to the Google Drive. Then, in the upper left-hand corner, click on New. Once you click New, you should see an option to click on More, then click on Google Sites. Or you can simply type the URL sites.google.com. And as you click it, find the student portfolio. Once you are in this page, Start by clicking the top left corner by naming our site. For easy tracking of your e-portfolio, name your site by typing your last name. For example, Beams e-portfolio. Once you've named your site, give your first page a title. Like Beams e-portfolio in CPE 105 subject show this is to show ownership now before we move on go to the upper right hand corner and click on publish button then click on manage as advanced information once you've done with the portfolio you just click invite people and type my email address so once done you can click publish likewise I need you to share your site by clicking this icon towards the upper right hand of your screen that looks like a chain. Click on that link and it will give you published site link. This is also the link that you need for others to browse your Google site. Actually, you can paste this link to email your teacher or to a Google Doc where your teacher has asked you to share your site link. So, similar to the setting up of PowerPoint presentation, you can change layout from this menu over here on the right. To further, you can add a table of content instead of images, a button, and that you can add hyperlinks to other documents or sites. A divider to divide the sections of your website is also there. A YouTube video if you want to your Google site calendar maps and any of the other Google apps. Next, let's place contents to your website. In setting up your e-portfolio, it will usually consist of the following pages and sections, which may depend on your personal preference. On your home page, remember to keep it simple, clean, and easy to read. So you may insert a photo of yourself but make it professional or formal, not anything silly or weird or cartoonized. On top, we have the site document name. Give a name for this, let's call it as BLMSN ePortfolio. So that's our site document name. And now we want to name the site itself where the viewer of the website is going to see. It's better to have similar titles, so we will name it as BLMSN ePortfolio. We have chosen BLSMN as the initial of the name of the group. Now we're gonna go to the title page. As mentioned, this was the site name and up here, this is the document name. At the center, we call the title page. Let's call it CPE 105 ePortfolio. Next, let's add a logo to our website. We simply go to settings and then when it says brand images, you click upload the MSU logo as the official logo if you have a file. If not, click 
select and then you can search the MSU logo under Google Image Search. Now let's select the theme. And here's the different themes where you can select. You can also change the fonts and the colors. In this website, at the right side, you will notice different colors right here. Just tick what you like and the color is changed. You can also change the font style by going very low here down at the bottom. Now we can see the font style and you've got three different choices. Now we will proceed to the menu style. If you want to add it and change this menu, you can simply go here to the little gear icon and then on the navigation, you'll see the mode was at the top. If I change it to side, watch out what happens right here to the left now you'll see three lines representing hamburger click it and now you'll see that the menu pops up on the side you can also change the color of the menu by going here to this little gear icon now we can change the color I like black since it always makes things stand up Next, let's proceed to the header types. Let's take a look at this web page. This is the first page. Take note that the very top of this whole section is what we call as header. As we hover it, let's go to the header type. Let's explore the four different types. Let's click over here's the result you can also go to large banner to banner and finally title only one important thing you need to know are the arrows right up here which are the redo and undo buttons Having said that, let's proceed to duplication of sections. Since in this video, I presume that you will be creating a group portfolio, let's duplicate the section about me so that each student will have his or her own section. This is how you do it. Click a section to highlight it, then click the duplicate button found at the left side. Now, we have duplicated the About Me section. In the same manner, we can delete a section by clicking the section that you want to delete. And instead of hitting the Duplicate, I'm gonna click this trash can icon, which means delete. So as I hit this icon, the section that you see now was deleted. This time, let's drag and move sections. If you want to move the About Me section at the top, just click this section and hold this bunch of little dots and move it all the way up. And I'm putting the About Me section right there. So now it's on top. However, others prefer to place it at the bottom. This time, let's edit a template. You can edit the template by clicking the section or a text box that you want to edit and just write over it. So easy, right? Actually, you can change the font style, make it bold, or make bullet lists by simply hitting the icon. Lastly, for this part 1 video lesson on Google side is the inserting of links. Since the content of your ePortfolio requires linking of resources, it's important that you know how to insert links into your website because part of your ePortfolio is to showcase your learning insights based on the modules 
and videos presented in our course. So to insert a link, simply highlight the text and then click insert link and then copy that link and click apply. So that's all for our part 1 lesson on ePortfolio using Google Sites. If you want to receive notification for my new videos, simply click the subscribe button for more updates. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Once again, this is Teacher Claire.